Invasion from Mars is a military political game set 450 years in the future on a distant planet at war with itself in the middle of a tense interstellar diplomatic situation. A few friends and I attended a game of Invasion from Mars in Cardiff in November 2015. This is our story. To understand the game, you'll need a quick explanation of the setting. Invasion from Mars is set in the fictional universe of The Universe, a sci-fi setting of humanity's future. The game is set in the year 2467, and humanity has been colonizing the stars for over 250 years. Four major interstellar superpowers now control most of the local regions. The Earth Empire, the original and oldest of all the powers. Traditionalist and arrogant, the Earthers have a sense of superiority when dealing with the newer powers. The Mars Association of Free Colonies came into existence about 200 years ago, when they rebelled against Earth's government and gained independence. The MAFC is an independently minded association of freedom-loving colonies, with a practical, no-nonsense attitude and an efficient military. The Greater Federation of Aesteel started 150 years ago, when they waged their own war of independence from the MAFC. They are notable for their love of stylish clothes and gadgets. Politically, they still harbour grudges against their former oppressors. Finally, the Republic of New Venus are by far the youngest of the major powers, breaking free from the rule of Earth in a brutal war only 30 years ago. They have a highly centralised and authoritarian government and unusually harsh military discipline. Having Earth as a common enemy means that the Venerians and the MFC have a decent political relationship. The game takes place on the surface and in the orbit of New Cydonia, a small outer region planet of little consequence. Each of the four major powers have a sponsored colony on New Cydonia, alongside a fifth, independent colony, the Democratic Republic of Cydonia. War has erupted on the planet, as the DRC has recently invaded the DMC and New Cydonia colony. Whilst the DRC claims this is purely for security reasons, many are of the opinion that the DRC, under the rule of the authoritarian President Wasserstein, are making brutal attempts to grab power and resources, with the possible end goal of controlling the entire planet. The defending colonies have been fighting bravely, but most people expect that unless something changes, their situation looks bleak. This type of far-off planet skirmish is typically ignored and forgotten in the core systems, but New Cydonia is about to become a point of interstellar focus. The MAFC, answering pleas for help from the New Cydonia colony, have decided to send out a task force of giant warships with high-tech landing battalions in order to counter the corrupt military dictatorship of the DRC. The MAFC task force team is made up of five people. I was playing as Admiral John Fisk, in charge of all military operations and generally responsible for the outcome of the situation. Mark was Lieutenant Colonel Bryant, commander of the elite marine units, but also acting as my information officer and second in command. Jonathan was the ground force commander, in charge of taking in the situation on the ground and commanding any and all MAFC military operations on the surface. Becky was the senior MAFC Senate representative for this region. Though not a military officer and therefore unable to give orders, going against the wishes of the Senate would be an unusual and very brave move for any officer. And finally, Ash was playing as Colonel Musa, a local MAFC diplomatic liaison. As a local ambassador, Ash would be spending most of his time on the planet, talking to the New Cydonia colony. With Ash on the surface, and the rest of us gradually approaching from hyperspace, the game was ready to begin. For the first half of the game, the MAFC task force had not yet reached the planet. All of our knowledge of the situation came from Ash and our special agent unit, which we wanted to use for information gathering. However, communication issues were already starting to cause problems. The way communication and where people are in the room works is very uh, restricted in this game because we're representing like different continents on a planet and some of us are in space and some of us are even further out in space. Uh, so basically, the people standing on here, uh, which is me, Mark, Becky and John, are literally in spaceships in interstellar space. Uh, so we can't walk anywhere, but we can send messages, like you can broadcast them at a massive distance. So we've got one man on the ground who is Ash, who's, so he's on the same team as us, he is on the surface of the planet and he can walk around and talk to people. He still has to fly from continent to continent to city to city, etc. That's how that works. There's these people here who are getting attacked and we don't really know them, uh, but we really want to get more information on what the attackers are doing. Uh, so we're sending a, a secret agent dude into the, uh, this island, which these people own, into the area that's occupied by the force that we don't like. The idea being that Ash, who is a diplomatic liaison on, on the surface, is going to go to 
that island and talk to these people and say, hey, we're sending this guy to the city that is currently occupied by the enemy. It's all about the enemy, it's not about you guys. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Cool. The interstellar headlines break that the DRC and the DMC are meeting in Sharon. But with our special agent unit not deployed there, we were starting to wonder if Asher is just not following our orders. I, I, I should move the agent now. That's definitely not doing the same. Yeah, well, I gave control of the order for the agent, so he can move it. So I've passed the order to Ash. Yeah, so he's got, he has the order. And he has your, out. And he has your top bag of chocolates. There's no more I can do for you. Yeah. Well, as long as the I know, you can't get the stock, can you? <laughs> Maybe he's uh, justifying it with the DMC. I feel like now that they're having a giant meeting in that hot city, they might not justify it anymore. <laughs> Shortly afterwards, we hear of our first significant change to the situation on the ground. We realised that the situation on the ground was changing quickly before we'd even arrived, and getting to New Sidonia was going to take us a while. We've got a lot of spaceships, big spaceships with big guns. However, they're far away. So we, despite being in the same room as everyone else, are like a space distance away and we're space approaching the planet. Uh, so there's nine, there's eight or nine turns in the game. We physically arrive to the place where everyone else is on turn four. So until then, it's all the guy who's on the surface already doing diplomacy stuff. Communications, planning, outset, that. So we're kind of, everyone else is kind of waiting for us to show up and we're waiting to show up. It's all very not here-ish. Okay, and so where are you right now? Space. Nine minutes. Okay, we're in hyperspace for another nine minutes. <laughs> That's how hyperspace works. Yep, it's very precise. Yeah. <laughs> I would assume hyperspace would be pretty precise, actually. You wouldn't, wouldn't want to get it wrong. Stay in hyperspace for, stay, stay hyper for an extra couple of seconds and you've missed the solar system by a couple of, you know, hundreds of you know, so we've thousand miles. Iron end, but With things changing so rapidly, we wanted to put out our statement declaring our intentions as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, the reporter didn't show up to our arranged meeting. <laughs> <laughs> we should tell the given one though. Oh yeah, this is hard, isn't it? We've made contact with a graphic traffic control and an auto trajectory and have nothing else for you. Good. We can now yeah. communicate the right. right. He's coming over, we've been yeah, told. Uh, he's uh, told he's coming to us. 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 They said they sent one to us. They were hovering just now for someone to grab them. I think he's been grabbed by a different story. Soon we learn that the balance of the war was shifting against the DRC, but we don't get much time to digest that information before there's a new issue right on our doorstep. Uh, this turn, uh, their general was assassinated, meaning that they're not, no, the general on the ground, yeah, not the player yeah, character, yeah, so the DRC one. So the DRC didn't make any advances this turn because of their assassinated general. Uh, they did do some bombardment with their ships, so they've asked us to bombard their ships. As soon as we can, let's take that out and uh, avoid. Who's bombarded what? The DRC bombarded the NPC. Surface ships. Right, okay. Yeah, the Navy. They can do that, can't they? Just yeah, they're naval ships. So um, they're asking us to help with that, and we'll help us if we can as soon as possible. There are six heavy merchant contacts in the approaching in this the kind of space area ahead of you, uh, with no transponders on. So they're not identifying that they are heavy merchant contacts. Heavy merchant contacts. Heavy merchant. Heavy merchant contacts. You can take as many times as you want, but with no no transponders. We they're not. So they're not trans. And they're not communicating with. So they're basically in a kind of stealth mode. That they're not reporting to anyone who or what they are. We should go and say that hi. That sounds fairly illegal. Yeah. We should go you and say hi. Right. So you there? They have a turn ahead of you in terms of as they approach the station. Uh, so they're going to get to the so they're going to get there first, but you've spotted there is something. So they're heading away from us. No, they're heading away from you towards the planet. Okay, fine. Okay, planet, then you, essentially. Can we, can we, we finally get to have an interview with the Interstellar News Network before issuing an urgent warning about the new contacts to New Sidonia's local space station. This is the interesting. Right, we have a, a press release. Okay. Okay, which we can, we can give to you. But basically, we are at the DRC to 
prevent or to halt its advances, to cease all acts of aggression, and to begin negotiations with the new Cydonia colony and the Diggers and Miners Collective. Otherwise, we will be handing over to our task force commander. Oh, we, we are giving you our business card. <laughs> Thank you, our business card. Excellent. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. I'll talk to my editor to see if he will come to some agreement uh, about use of uh, our satellite system to broadcast it. We'll send it out a, a small, um, uh, small news flash anyway. Yeah. We'd like and, um, it to go out now. Well, we'd like it to go out as soon as possible. Yeah. Uh, this is the task force commander of the Martian forces. We've recently entered. We've recently entered the Cydonian uh, M25. Uh, we're now currently approaching the planet very slowly. Uh, however, there were six very large. Large unidentified merchant ships between us and the planet who didn't seem to be like having any transponders. And we may be in contact in the future if we on your systems to deal with If you gain any more information about who these ships might be, or if you feel like you're under threat, please let us know. It's, uh, this is a very unusual situation. Considering the instability of the situation on the ground, this could be incredibly significant. We've done some more work on the heavy merchant from um, the sensor readings and jumping that fairly confident that they're all um, wanted space pilots. I don't want to list off no road. Right, so they're not related to the forces on the ground in any way? Um, no, but I think they work for whether it's them enough money. That's why they have to so I can't rule out that they're the highest I'm going to call them again. Right. Hi, this is uh, Admiral in Germany, Task Force John Fisk again. Um, I've literally just had a report come to my desk. Apparently the six heavy mercantile vessels are indeed uh, space pirates, according to our intelligence. Uh, we don't know exactly who hired them, but we believe they are working in a kind of mercenary capacity. Thank you. Apparently one of the ships, one of the ships has announced itself officially with all proper documentation uh, and is a pirate ship attempting to trade with the DRC and the space station is less concerned about that one. The other five are apparently still unannounced and they're still very worried that they might be a threat. Well, do you think we have any kind of mandate? I don't think it's a Right. Well, I mean, just, if, you know, if, let's say, you know, some war was going on in a real country in the real world yeah. and a known criminal was there, would any of the forces have any kind of official yeah, mandate that, you know, Police or something. I don't know how this works. If someone is officially a known pirate, yeah. are we meant to deal with them when we see them? You don't have to deal with them, there's no obligation on you. If you did, you wouldn't be criticised. There's six armed merchant ships. Like, they're a deniable asset. Yeah. Maybe. Well, we don't. We don't. Well, as far as we know, they're not associated with any of the. No, no they're, they're, they're traded with the DRC. No, but they're, 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 they're the six. They're the five. They're the five. They're the five. They're the five. What? Problem? Who's controlling the place? All the discussion about pirates is interrupted by a bizarre and unexpected message from surface liaison Ash. Now, what's this about for, forerunner stuff being discovered? <laughs> rumours? Right, any rumours about location, quantity, quality? <laughs> Okay, well, keep me updated if it comes to, but at the moment I'm going to consider this as pure speculation. In the universe, the Forerunners are an ancient race that seems to have existed before humans. Though technologically advanced, almost nothing has been found of their civilizations, and Forerunner artifacts are exceedingly rare. Back in Eusidania, sensational rumours are put aside, as the DRC uses Twitter to respond to our declaration. But we have a reply saying they're in talks with the DRC already, and... New side owners will not negotiate. Well, we've told them that we want them to negotiate, and apparently they won't negotiate. Right. So, do we not need. We need. The we need to talk to the NCC. Side, we need them to negotiate, don't we? Well, maybe they are negotiating, but you know. Yeah. Uh, he hung up. But no, it's ours. Ours will negotiate. That's weird. No, it's New side 
Okay, I was literally just talking to the New Sidonia Colony guy and he hung up on me. I don't, I asked for the representative. And it was also the number you gave me earlier, it was the same number. I asked him about this uh, negotiations issue and he literally just hung up. As we attempt to get a better understanding of what's actually happening in the war on the ground, the team starts discussion on exactly what we should do. More space money, more space problems. I don't know, I, I, called, I called the New Sidonia Colony guy, I asked him about negotiations and he hung up. I called Ash, he said they can't do it right now because they're in the middle of things. I assume they're related. So we, we, we have... Um... I want to ask him about this negotiations issue, because if we're demanding that the DRC open negotiations and they say, oh, we have and they're shutting us down, that's going to cause us a problem. Yeah. yeah. Basically, we don't want to ask them, so don't... We don't, but that's the primary objective of our team. Yeah, but if they're not helping themselves... It depends on why they're refusing to negotiate. It depends if they are refusing to negotiate. What we need them to do is to make... is to end negotiations and their negotiations that give us back our government and that will make a peace. We're not saying end negotiations to try and siege all of the targets. Are you asking them to hold off the traction while they're negotiating? Oh, no, no, they're Everyone's going to hold their assaults and ignore uh, No, we shouldn't ask for that because we want the, the DLC troops to be able to ask for themselves. No, we ask them to hold their advance because we want this so they can repair their the so they can part of the victory. The only way we're getting those guys out of there is by killing them. It's just, you can't turn up and say, everyone stop fighting except for the guys we want to start fighting. You can have negotiations while they're still combat. Yeah, but we can also demand that combat is stopped. We can, but why do we want to demand combat is stopped? Because, because then it's a lot harder to get negotiations. Is the NCC winning the ground war? Yeah, they're not winning the ground war. Right then we just don't mention it. We just, we don't mention cease points, we just say, end to negotiate. Just send, send somebody diplomatic to negotiate. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's fresh. Negotiating, negotiating a ceasefire is part of negotiating. Yeah, it is. So, and the ceasefire can be withdrawn from the cities. And we haven't said stop fighting, we've said stop advancing. That's true. Technically. <laughs> If we're talking technicality, the, the last thing we to the very last thing we want to have is the DRC to go, okay, all of our troops are over here, because then we'd never get them out. Finally, the press print our official statement, but not without putting their own personal spin on our carefully worded message. Has been deployed. We are calling on the DRC to halt its advance immediately and begin negotiations with the side of the economy and the diggers and runners collectively. We look forward to arriving soon with a peaceful settlement preventing escalation. Same day, very, very, very We've then given a breakdown of our fleet, which is fine. Yeah. Um, a secret fleet, slack, question mark, pirates, question mark. Pre-arrival of the Martians, six heavy freighters with transponders off arrived on a fast burn into the system. Um, gunboat diplomacy, reports coming in that the Martian military commander has issued a direct threat to the DSC uh, military of halt of the attacks. Right, reports are coming in of garbage. <laughs> Report from whom? Hmm? Hmm? Is that what you want to <laughs> Where, What's your source for this halt or be attacked? That, that is exactly what we're saying. I didn't put attacked. I didn't put attacked. <laughs> 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 to paraphrase what we're saying, it's one of two. Oh, right. you. I didn't say attacked. That is paraphrasing what we're saying. That is not a direct threat. That, that, they're saying direct threat. We are a military That is an indirect threat. No, no, no. We, we, we are a indirect. We are a military task. But then, you know, as time progresses, the machine existence of us is a direct threat. Are you capable of looking at our approval rate? I mean, I can see it from here. I don't think it's moved since the start of the game, has it? No. You haven't done any pins of no Tom Panic yet. Well, this may be a thing. Is that our approval rating on the planet or our approval rating back on the planet? Your back Yeah, that's why they can promote or sack me. The planet doesn't have much say in that one. It's not very I don't care about your promotion prospects ever. I don't care about promotion prospects, I care about the people this planet. Also, you're in head of a task force. There's not much more up than that, is there really? The only up from task force commander is desk. The bigger task force commanders. <laughs> the mercenary pirates then arrive on New Sidonia, only to be paid off by the new CC and leave. The team is surprised that the new CC didn't ask for our help and just accepted the pirates' ransom. However, discussion about the pirates is interrupted as the North Continental Company has an announcement to make. We have an unprecedented, don't take this as a precedent, but there is a special announcement which I think the NCC, the Norths, need to make to everybody. So if I just hand over briefly to the Chief Executive of the, uh, the Northern, um, the Northern Continental Company. Hello, Universe. 
Sorry to interrupt your usual television viewing, but it did really feel like I should make this announcement to you all. As you can see, I'm in the middle of nowhere, except for the film crew, and of course, I'm sure you recognise the great archaeologist, Sidonia Smith. The intergalactically renowned archaeologist has made a discovery in the northern tundra of our continent. It is this. Gas! I'm holding up an extremely weird piece of alien technology that is very, very weird indeed. <laughs> this is clearly forerunner technology, the likes of which we have all dreamed of seeing. Could it be in my mortal hands I hold a nugget? of purest green. <laughs> the Earthers, our friends and colleagues, are 100% behind us and are supporting our research of this technology. This is very sensitive and this is why I am doing it so publicly. I do not want anyone to think we are doing anything secretively or at any threat to any other nation. And our phone is always available. You can call us on 0174. <laughs> Due to the importance of this, I would also like to show you here now, live, in the middle of nowhere, the first actual research process. As I'm sure, this may prove of no consequence whatsoever. It may prove of intergalactical significance, but like me, you'd really love to see what happens when I press this big glowing red button. Okay, shows off the air. <laughs> <laughs> the entire planet, communications go down for five minutes as the MAFC task force discuss what to do next. <sighs> so, um, are we, are we taking this by force? I mean, well, let's right. see what, uh, they may have just blown themselves up, for all we know. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Can we send some arms take a look? Can we send some arms shots? Can we send some marines? Send, 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 send four divisions of ground forces down to take a look. Have a nose, full nosy around for image. Smash and grab. Right. What I want to do. We're not even here yet. Are Wait, we? they're back no. by us. Right. This they, is they back? well, we arrive. We arrive any in, moment. Don't yeah, we arrive in a parole bit just as does after the communications flag. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're in three minutes, but we don't actually do anything. We can't do anything with another 20 after that. Well, we, we can start... Well, we can start looking. I can start putting stuff on the board. Yeah. Then. Yes. Um, but aren't they... Back, yellow are back in my zombie, aren't they? Yellow are back by us. Earth. 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 Uh, we, we can't actually, we, we cannot get into war with enough power. That's what We're it's not getting into war with enough power. But we could send our agents. So, is it a sticky, sticky situation right now? So, Hello team. Uh, Hello. <laughs> yeah, your comms are hardened, you didn't lose anything. Oh. Um, but you did detect a massive electromagnetic transmission in deep space. Uh, it's gone out, it's sufficient to transmit something outside the system. Right. You've got triangulation on it, you could track it. Uh, every, all, all your systems on your ships lit up with this thing. It's, it was a major, it, quite more powerful than you could probably transmit. And from a little tiny box, that was just, that's a little bit scary. Um, you also know that something a working forerunner technology like this, there's no no record of anything like this that has ever been discovered. Uh, it's probably worth more than the planet. Would it be worth going to Earth? Uh, that's that's for you guys to decide. Yeah, uh, you're on the spot. You can't, there isn't time. You could uh, message back to New Mars for instructions. Yeah. But obviously, you're the people who have to decide what to do next. This, 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 this triangulation of where yeah. it's signal, signal yeah. 
Like what I think you'll need to move a ship out to the M25 to get a proper uh, reading of it. As communications come back up, the North Sea Sea begin procedures to deal with their discovery. <laughs> Very excited about this. Very yeah. Represents, and we hope they continue to be open with their investigation and research into what's happened. Well, um, this report can tell you that they are uh, planning to hold an independent meeting at the station uh, with the government to see if they can actually uh, work together and get uh, scientists to um, investigate the, what this uh, foreign tech does. Would you want to be on part of that? Uh, absolutely. I think uh, we would want an international effort uh, between all of the major powers and any minor powers who feel like can contribute uh, to investigate the situation. With the technology sitting in the northern wastes, we desperately tried to contact the North CC team in an attempt to make a deal. Things aren't made easier as John starts taking orders into his own hands during the confusion. A log, log space in three battalions. Why, why are there massive numbers of battalions in their hands? So I'm taking back my crew. Aren't under uh, whose recommendation? Uh, yes, I don't use recommendations for a while ago. Right. And you could just like... Troops in that city when there's land. There are no troops in the city, they're landing before troops. It's landing in Blackberry. This is insolence of the highest order. Ash, <laughs> have you asked for troops to land in Blackberry at all? Because John is being is like acting on your orders and sending so many troops to Blackberry. How many troops are you sending? They're not troops from Blackberry or not? No! Oh, okay. I told you this three times! Alright, well, really wants to land those troops. troops. Do nothing. Okay, well at least give our agents some orders and then I'll go ahead. Have you got a phone number for the North Continental Company? Because no one else has. I do not want anyone to think we are doing anything secretively or at any threat to any other nation. And our phone is always available. Our phone is always available. Always available. Always available. With the clock counting down and the Martian fleet finally arriving at New Sidonia, a decision has to be made on what to do about the valuable Forerunner technology site. <laughs> John, can we, can we please take the Forerunner technology? It's not really in their base. It's on their, it's on their soil. It's in the frozen <laughs> north. It's technically that. Look, we've, we've got a number for them now. We're discussing it right now. Um, okay, we've got seven minutes if I want to deploy yeah. Can we give our agent some orders? Yeah. What's our agent going to do? Uh, can he just go to the place with the technology? You can't blame us. He could go and look around, couldn't he? Yeah. Should we send our agent to, to the, yes. the, the northern... If we don't go there now, there'll be troops there. Yeah, yeah. So, but if we're sending an agent, it's kind of, yeah, we're constantly... Yes, yes, but if we send the troops now, they go there unopposed. If we don't send them now, the next turn they'll be going in opposed. And yeah. See, there's, no, there's no one defending the forward attack right now. Right, we need that number and we need it now. Yeah, he's not texting. <laughs> Come on, if we go in now, there's no soldiers there, we can just take it. And they'll never dislodge us. We, we don't know where this four base is. Yeah, it's in the same We know where it is. Yeah. You, you, know, you, you, know, you know where the signal came from. We know where it is. Give the agent orders to go there at least. Came from the base. The agent orders to go there. The agent orders are just putting people yeah, on the map. You know where the button is. No, the agent. Okay. Oh, the agent. Okay, well. Who's giving the agent orders? So it needs to play with the OC. Okay, we can speak to the CEO at the conference at the space station. If they get this, where are they going to go? Yeah, precisely. Well, what is the agent going to do on his own? I don't know. But if we send soldiers in, then we're essentially yeah, yeah, yeah. doing non-deniable ops in a... We can argue that there's been a humanitarian disaster there because there was a massive bomb. That's not going to fly. No one's going to believe that. Why not? No one's going to believe that. Look, no one can dislodge us. If we send all of our... I'm not invading Earth territory in a completely no. undeniable way. Earth territory, so... It's sort of Earth territory. No, they're just, they're just friends with Earth. They're not allied or anything. Yeah, well... And would it, in the Christian, the balance of... Quite the political balance is... Yeah. Would Earth go to war with you over something as trivial as a arse end of the universe, backwater colony of no value? But in foreign yeah. technology, though. Yeah, but possession is no interest of the non-existent law on the subject. <laughs> Down the non-existent space law. There is no, there is no legal, yeah. you know. It's a, it's a, it's clearly, it is clearly a political decision. It is. Militarily, at the moment, you fire up number any other forces in the area. Obviously, you might send. Yeah. Other people might send reinforcements, but you'd be there. You could, you could talk the plug on this entire planet. I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you have the ultimate godlike power here mm. to do exactly what you want. Right. And it's can we send you? It's very bad. It's a diplomatic team then. Yeah. So there's no yeah, military units on the table, right? <laughs> 
there's no military units there. <laughs> Otherwise, we will have turned up and done nothing. Can we send in just like yeah. three units of Marines? No, because they can't go on their own. Why, why do a half edge? If we're going to do this, if we're going to do, do it, it, let's just do it. Okay. The, worst, the, the only thing worse than what we're doing is doing it and failing. Right. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> What, what are you doing? We're, We're not really shocked. Just like a <laughs> massive drop of... Wait, can we actually do that this turn? I think so. Well, yeah. he's certainly done. He can, he can wait, position... Yeah, you can position on map this turn. We're, at the end, we're right at the end of the turn. Uh, you're going to piss off so many people, it'll be brilliant. <laughs> I mean, but the, 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 the signs are that we need this tech. Yeah. And we want it. Oh, yeah. And we've got... I'm sure if, if this tech is worth more than the planet. Because New Cydonia don't need us now, sure so we've just flown all this way, let's do something. If, I'm sure if the Senate could speak to us right now, they would be saying this tech is very much very yes. I think you're saying the Senate is speaking to you, yeah. and she's a fool. Yeah, the Senate is very saying. Well. Also, you know, we've used a lot of petrol to get here. <laughs> Space petrol. You know, wasted resources and all that. <laughs> let's, let's get something out to it. Uh, yeah, I, it's basically, if it's worth more than planet, it's even worth more than that. So, so. You've got a shuttle approaching you, oh. like Earth Empire diplomatic colours. Okay. <laughs> Wait, where did you say we'd meet? Here? No, but I didn't meet them because they wanted money, so yeah. we haven't actually said where we're going to meet. That's fine, they, they, they're they welcome aboard. Actually, I think people have just kind of assumed they're coming here. Though. That's fine. What on earth is this, this is on a I haven't seen you guys in so long. Okay. Why are they up? Oh, that's a different thing. That's a different thing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. This, is sure. single, this is a one-man shuttle on approach to your yes. fleet. Okay. Earth, a different light color. Excellent. Take me aboard. Yes. yes. So let's have a chat. Okay. to shoot you down. Okay, what's happening? Okay. So the forerunner technology is important. Yeah, we, I gathered that. I thought that would have been a thing. Now, okay. we can't really not try and pick it up. Yeah. And we can't justify sending in a small number of troops. So you... <laughs> So we thought, you know, we might as well make sure that our terrible group. actions are successful yeah. rather than doing something terrible and not succeeding. My hand was forced. And they're not leaving. Right. They're Stop. not leaving, so that We need to get the troops in. back. Oh god, right. If we land the troops, Earth Empire is going for us. See, you know, remember when I said this? Remember when I said this is what would happen? So, yeah, yeah, that did sound like a thing that would happen. That was our diplomatic. Again, the front runner If we land troops. Their Earth Empire. With what? It's going to take them four turns just to arrive. I don't know that it is so much. <laughs> the impression that I got is there's a level of immediacy to this. With the Earth Empire. <laughs> there is a there is a level of speak fast, move now. I you don't want to put troops here. If, if we can get, I think the, the troops are already there. If we, if we get, we can get them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Then we, that's it, that's it. They're, they're, it's already done. And they're, they're, then I don't know if we can take something from me. I think the idea was because if we could do that, we would have just sent in the Marines, like I suggested. <laughs> Okay. So how do we call back? Do we call back? Do we, we ignore can't. the threat? Do we call that bluff? Yeah. Because the thing is, just like we said, it's not Earth territory. We're not invading Earth territory. No. We have just made an unjustified move on a bunch of cons. Yeah. And the Earth are very upset about it. Yeah, you could have told me to see if I could fabricate something again. We had no time. We had <laughs> no time. Right. Okay. I could try and fabricate something again. Now. All right. So can we put them in the fight You can't try an entire GF battalion. With several high-tech Martian ground force battalions landing at the Forerunner dig site in the North Sea Seas territory, Senator Becky attends their tech conference in Cydonia Station. It proves to be a somewhat awkward meeting. Until we ourselves are settled. I'm not sure we can have others externally making those decisions for us. Given that the Martians have invaded your land, how do you propose to stop them taking the item? Um, with your help here and now. I did what I did before anything else. I've shown, I've been honest, I've been open, and I hope you respect that's because I'm being honest and open. That's why I'm here now. This is why I've called I think maybe we need to show a united front against the Martians, all of us. Somewhere like this. Neutral territory. Space stations are possible for us to Um Again, we... What, there is one place... We're not, yeah, the total, you know, they're not happy. But again, this is Sidonian focus. This isn't. Are the major power representatives in there? 
Yeah. Uh, the mage powers. Guys, 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 the Venusians as well. I'm not talking about any of that, none of that matters. Right, we have discovered <laughs> a base full of creepy alien things and we've killed all of them. Excellent. We've killed all the aliens. Well, they tried to kill, kill them, but like, aliens as in like alien versus predator aliens. Okay. Physical, organic beings. Okay. They tried to murder us all. That you just shot up. Hey, man, is that true? Is that actually true? Are you yeah, that's actually what happened. Our marines got attacked by loads of like alien things, so they've killed all of them. Well, I'm glad we had massive amounts of yeah. troops. Oh, yeah. well, oh, oh, no. Good call. I'll just send one unit of marines, they'd all have died. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, so we have we have the base. Be... Okay, so the marines are now in the busy process of stealing everything. How right. quickly can we get it'll a new press conference? Can we? It'll take massive, You'll terrifying need to go and tell. How quickly can we blast off a new one? Do we have any evidence? Can we? We can say that. We have lots of evidence. There's lots of bodies. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's going to take us a whole turn, guys. We have to hold it for a turn if we want to steal everything. Yeah. Basically, what we need to do is, is say we 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 have strong evidence to believe they are hostile alien life forms. Not strong evidence. They're literally there. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, okay. But, yeah. But, well, we can even give them footage of this. Uh, yeah. uh, the reason we invaded was because um, the action that they've performed uh, was. Uh, the, the, the activation of this thing has endangered the lives of everyone in the colony. Oh, yeah. I like it. Yeah. And, and we are now holding this while uh, and we, 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 yeah. we, we must we uh, uh, make preparations. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And you need to tell Noose Idonia because they need to do that. Why not? We need to go in and say. When did that happen? When did that happen? He said, Martians, by the right. Everyone else getting up on that. So our, our official policy is, uh, we've done this to protect yeah. the world because yeah. the signal they've activated is almost certainly uh, something, something awful. Some, something which will bring upon, uh, which is apocalyptic. Yeah. Um, I'm taking everything. Okay. okay. DRC agent tried oh, to okay. infiltrate. Um, the dig site, but yeah, your marines right. stop, uh, stop, stop, stop marines. Marines. Oh. and just marines. stop the venturing and turn them away. We should only send one unit marines, says What's your position as a building of the operation? We're considering this actually. Yeah. We want to so go public to really with this. Um, so when the foreign technology was activated, um, because of our ships, you know, they're, 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 they're military ships, so they're defended against certain types of interference. Yeah. So what happened was, uh, we still had quite a lot of tactical information on the area. Um, uh, we could see movement, uh, we could see kind of energy, the explorers, and all kinds of things going on. So we were quite afraid of exactly what was going to happen. You know, we weren't sure if you know a weapon was about to go off or anything. Um, so we sent down a rather sizable force, which I'm sure you're well aware of. My, uh, our, um, our on-the-spot investigator um, yeah. is, was actually there when you arrived. Yeah. Um, so what we found uh, upon trying to kind of enter the general area to see what was going on, to see whether or not there was any danger, uh, was actual physical creatures. Uh, organic life forms, uh, you might call them aliens, uh, I believe the current te term is forerunners, although whether or not they are connected to foreign technology or they were just squatting there, we have no idea, but they immediately attacked us. Um, so there was some loss of life, luckily we have very well equipped, highly trained forces. Space Marines. Uh, it's Star Trek Marines, <laughs> for copyright reasons. <laughs> Uh, but we also had ground forces there, so you know they had backup. It wasn't just small tight teams; it was they were working in unison. So we've managed to defend ourselves from these aliens, and we're not sure how many else are in there. You know, it's a pretty big complex, we think. Um, so, in terms of the dig site, we're, we're, we we don't necessarily want to pull out because then it's undefended, and then who knows what's going to pour out of there? You know, more technology, more aliens. The, the threat of danger is significant. You know, we don't. Know. It, it could. It could swarm all over the surface of the planet. They could be uh, spaceborne. They could immediately launch off something and you know attack the rest of the rest of the human civilization. We know. So what do your CC have to say about as the North CC? That's so what the North CC have to say about armed star marines being deployed into their territory by a major galactic player. Um, we were forced. Because the knots were not talking to us, they had gone to a uh, scientific conference. Um, and because of the potential danger, like we said, you know, energy fluctuations, we didn't think anyone else had noticed this because we were the only people whose uh, protection systems weren't destroyed, well, temporarily disabled by the, the activation. So we felt we had to act very quickly, you know. Um, there were no military units or civilians on the site, so we knew we were safe in, you know, not having to attack anyone or risking danger, endangering any civilians or NCC forces when we landed. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your uh, cuts. Thank you very much. That's mostly true. With the alien serving as our excuse for grabbing the technology, we received some new information. To kind of black, evilly would be a weapon, cruiser sized ship. <coughs> Unidentified, but I'm speaking, it's probably quite ancient. Right. And if there is a connection, then, I mean, it's a clue. If this were, for example, some sort of forerunner thing, right. they'd be at least 100,000 years old. Yeah, and they look old, do they? And you can't. So, and, st and they appear to be still working, which is also quite impressive. <laughs> so, anyway, I'll leave you with those little factoids. If you, you know, if you need any more, just right. do us what's shadowing them at the moment. Okay. Thanks, Jim. No worries. <laughs> Always the bringer of good news. <laughs> no, we, ha we might have to evacuate this planet. We don't know what those ships are going to do. So Right, so basically, two uh, spaceships. You remember I told you about those forerunners, right? And we told, I told you about the forerunner base that we went into? Two ships, way older than humanity, probably, uh, with technology that humanity doesn't have, certainly, um, are currently headed towards this planet, and they'll be here in two turns. Um, yeah, we don't know exactly what they're capable of or why they're coming, uh, but we did just kind of attack their base. So, we don't know exactly what we're going to do next. But I'm thinking that. They could be small, but they could be way more powerful. Yeah, we don't know. They could fire a gun and then the universe would explode. Uh, what are we saying to people? I don't know. Because the thing is, if we don't make this public, then there's a chance that everyone on the planet will die. Meanwhile, the serious repercussions of taking the Forerunner technology start to become painfully apparent, as the Earth, Venus and Ace Steel Powers all use strategic manoeuvring and subtle threats to make things harder for the MAFC. This means we have to send ships from our task force away to help, and it also starts tanking our approval rating, as the Senate back home feels the political backlash of what's happening in New Sidonia. Basically, because um, of the fight that's going on here, the other major powers are putting pressure on their home government and having fleet incursions in their space. So High Command are calling back one of these ships and saying, we need to defend another part of the galaxy, so it's weakening their force. <laughs> oh, it's exciting, but also like really terrifying. Yep. There's also dropped down one that caused High Command to not impress. It has to keep the whole of the ships to deal with. Oh, oh, well, they're not, they're not impressed that whatever you're doing is causing oh, okay. international they've picked up on that. Well, they, they, they've had to, they've had to call two, two ships, so which you've lost to go deal with pressure elsewhere in the galaxy, which they're fairly sure is because of whatever you're doing down here. Yeah. So your yeah. the writing is going in the wrong direction. Right. Okay. The potential destructive capability that the incoming forerunner ships possess is unknown. With communication limited, we desperately attempt to put the word out about the potential danger on its way to the planet. I'm the question of going super public on this. Yeah. Sorry? That we need to yeah. stop them from yeah. peeling like, off like, our I ships. I don't know exactly what we're going to tell people to do, but I think we just need to tell people this is coming, yeah, this and is they coming, can make yeah. whatever preparations they need to do. And please, 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 tell your governments to not keep uh, distracting our forces when we need to get all of our ships to protecting this world. Yeah. Because yeah. their, their actions are just going to be awful today. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they did say they were armed, so we yeah. know that much. Um, we still. By the way, are you going to be lifting all the dudes off the ground? Just tear everything out out we can. We're not lifting this turn. <coughs> oh, but like the next chance you get, take everyone out. Everyone. This turn we steal all the stuff. Next turn we move up with the dudes. Okay. Although we can't move everyone up and go. Are we going to be able to? Is it just going on a new stage? John, we can't actually move everyone out and go. Okay, we'll move back two ghosts. Could we rent some shuttles though to move us up on our turn? Like we need like. Yeah, should, should, should we incorporate an offer of evacuation? We definitely can't evacuate everyone. We need we need no. like three shuttles. Can we rent one of those for a for those for a trade team? If we want to get everyone up on one turn. I say the troops can get up there rather than move are we going to offer a safe haven? Well, there's other plans. Yeah. There's always more space but are somewhere. We gonna, yeah. Are we going to offer? Control makes it clear that this military force isn't equipped for that sort of operation, and we'd struggle to get more than a few thousand people onto our ships before the forerunners arrive. Now the ship's going to arrive. Evacuating the planet is really not a practical option. Um, <coughs> well, we evacuating key people, maybe. Yeah. Diplomats, obviously. Their families. Their friends. Servants. Servants' friends. <laughs> Someone you had dinner with the other night. I mean, you know, this is 
Yeah, maybe. Mm-hmm. Anything valuable? Some of the scientists. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, we'll try and... Can I just mention that the Martian Navy, the Star Navy has a long martial tradition of dying gloriously in battle. And, uh, and, the, and the Academy, they taught you that it takes... It only takes a year and a half to build a battleship, and it takes 300 years to build a tradition. <laughs> I'm just saying. Whilst trying to discuss how to deal with Earth's hostile reaction to the earlier troop landings, the new CC suddenly tell us that after six turns of waiting, they finally want our help with the war. We'd been told that one of the reasons our approval rating was so low was that we weren't doing enough for the new CC, so we jumped at the chance to get involved now that we had an opportunity. On arrival this tech, yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, bring, bring, it. It. Bring, bring it. Bring it. Bring the thunder. Yeah, yeah. Where to? Anywhere in particular? Uh, where do you want us to? Oh, oh, where? Uh, you to tell, tell us yes. where. Tell us where. We can't support you if you don't tell, tell us where. I need, I need this information now. Uh, right. Are we willing Black to give the tech back? Blackberry. Where's it? Um, yeah. Are we willing to give the tech back to the Earth? Because unless, unless they're really they pissed off about the fact that it was found in their colony. Is there, is there can, can Earth provide a place for us to take it away from them? Sharon, well, Sharon. Right. Involved in so we're Sharon. encouraging sharing after this whole massive space battle yeah. is resolved. Okay. He needs the bomb if anyone doesn't know about space break. battle, tell them. Yeah. He needs the what? Bomb Blackberry. He needs the bomb Blackberry. Yep. Yeah. 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 Who told you that? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We had a message from okay. Sidonia Bomb that. Blackberry. Do it. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? A bomb by and black. More. More stuff. We need to help <laughs> the new side only apart anymore, so I guess we'll just <laughs> fire <laughs> them down death on their enemies. Yeah. Soon after, Sidonia Station's only defence ship explodes in the outer limits of New Sidonia space. There's no explanation for why, but many people are pointing to this as evidence that the incoming forerunner ships are definitely hostile. Meanwhile, Senator Becky and I finally managed to get to talk with the North CC about the technology. What was in the crates? What was in the forerunner site? We've got technology uh, because of the incoming um, because of the incoming forerunner ships. It's currently on our station. However, we are currently in talks uh, with Earth and uh, with the new Association of Colonies uh, about sharing technology. Brilliant, thank you. But I'm almost immediately taken aside by Mark. Uh, like the pop, yes. yeah. um, our Marines, some of them who were down on the surface, probably the ones who got injured, uh, have had aliens bursting from their chests. Great! Uh, we've been able to contain the, the thing aboard our ships, however, the other Marines are a little bit kind of shook up about this sort of in, in occurrence. Yes. So um, they may be a little bit less effective unless we give them a little bit of time to rest. As in, let's not deploy them again this time. Okay. Has anyone, else, has anyone who was yeah. previously at the Forerunner base site... It's been, it's been contained. Yeah, and all those people are now on one ship, correct? I don't know, where, where are they? John? I think so, yeah. Cause... John, those people you lifted from the Forerunner base, were they all lifted back to a single ship? It seems so, wherever they normally do. Because one of the ships contains most of the stuff, doesn't it? Yeah, the carrier's got all the stuff we lifted off it, yeah. Right. Uh, no one is to leave that ship. No, no one is to leave that ship. No, no and quarantine leave. the relevant people as well in a special interior quarantine. Okay. So we'll just do a, a kind of uh, a R&R quarantine for our soldiers. Oh yeah, a quiet quarantine. But yeah. yeah, you know, okay. reinforced something. In this universe, does the film Alien exist? More or less, yes, but I don't know about it. It was released hundreds of years ago, so I doubt anyone's watched it. Okay. <laughs> As peace is finally achieved on New Sidonia, the plan is created for what to do when the Forerunner ships arrive. Okay, um, in terms of discussion with the space station, um, there basically, if, if the alien ship passes the space station, irrespective of whether or not the alien ships are firing on us, we need to fire on them, because we don't want them to start landing stuff on the planet and investigating the entire population. So we've agreed to shoot on them even if they don't shoot at us? Only if the ship passes uh, the station, you know, it's basically going to kind of bypass the station without firing. So, regardless of whether or not the enemy ships fire, we've agreed to open fire on anything that passes us. Uh, yeah, basically. Yeah, we'll, we'll obviously be trying to communicate with them up until that point. But yes. We, basically, these, these aliens burst from people's chests. Yes. So. We have proved there is a hostility to these aliens. At the very least, we don't want more bursting from chests. That is true. It's just, it's just not, it's not the MAFC way to have yeah. things erupt from our chests. So that rarely happens in normal civilized society in the MFC. Yeah. As the final turn begins, the long-awaited battle begins to play out. An entirely Martians automated break, process. Break, break, break contacts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> USOs. Are you unidentified yeah. space officers? They're out, Jim. Uh, 
That's fun. When you say great minds, like, who's attacking? Who's uh, in, anybody engaging them? I think or we are you all just going to run away? I think we should. Station, you launching your second squadron. You've got time. Like, um, What's the uh, on the other side of the Okay, we have an agent. Have we pulled up our Marines? Yeah. Are we attacking? Good, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. our Marines are going in as well. Our Marines are going in as well. Yep. Okay. Um, uh, do we know how they responded to the message? Yeah. What message? We sent a message. No, no response. No response to that message. Yeah. You're going to board them. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> We're boarding. <laughs> right, we're boarding them to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good <laughs> first move. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Can we board the one, one, You can board. You can board. No, you can't so, board with like, Neck Division. Uh, Sorry. Marines. Marines. That's what Marines do. They board. Yeah, yeah. 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 Shoot, shoot one, board one. Shoot one, board one. There you go. Okay. That's a clear command. This is very straightforward. So, um, all our Marines there. We should have those two are wiped out. Yeah. Are they board? Yeah. That ship is captured. What? Success. This ship is completely destroyed. Oh, we win this. Oh, right. You lose. Passive our squadron at each. We win that this was game. way easier than I was anticipating. <laughs> we have won this game now. We, we but there you are then. That yeah. teaches you to be such a Please don't have them down. Okay. okay. You, you've captured an ancient. Uh, they, they've had to wreck it a fair bit to stop it. It's yeah. all entirely yeah. automated. Right. It's, it's entirely automated. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah, what was defending it? How? It had. It had. Um, it had robots. Yeah. Like no. 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 It had. It had fighters. Oh, right. okay. Also, a lot of the. No, a lot of the marines were killed coming in from the ship's own weapons. Right. Okay. Yes. Which just blew the shuttle to pieces. But despite that, any other any other marines would have would have pulled off. But Martian marines were prepared to take 67% casualties just yeah. aboard. Right. Fisk whisks? <laughs> yeah. Um, we mix it up. I think the big question for you guys now that you've almost secured the ship is what are you going to do when the other power comes looking around with this thing you've just secured? There's no way well, we're going to just sweep this under the rug and run away with it. We need to tell them no. first that we have this to is very much that plan. Wait, no, let's move. split and share our race. No, 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 let's move one nuke to the back. By this point in the game, I was tired, hungry, and completely burnt out. Everything that happened over the next hour was a blur. Even with our success against the Forerunner ships, our approval rating was still only hovering above the lowest point, and the other major powers, Earth in particular, were only worsening the situation for us back in the home sector. To make things worse, the team was heavily split as to what to do next. Senator Becky and I believed that sharing Forerunner tech was necessary in order to save our reputations and avoid future conflict, whereas John and Mark believed that the tech was too valuable and it would be a risk to let anyone else get their hands on it. Um, and that includes the capturing by a brave group of Marines of one of the two ships. That's it. Uh, the ship, unfortunately, sustained massive damage in the attack because it was defended and the machines had to use force. Um, we've, we've essentially deactivated all the engine and power systems as a necessity for part of the capturing ship. However, there's still quite a lot of stuff there. And we would like to set up a uh, four-way sharing between the four major powers. I'm afraid that Venus cannot agree to sharing the artifact technology with Earth. Earth right. has shown itself to be too powerful a threat in the past and has very serious global colonial ambitions. Universal colonial ambitions. Okay. Do you have any input? Uh, Aesteel's stance on this is a similar matter. We cannot see this technology in other in other parties' plans. Uh, so I'm afraid that we cannot agree to this in principle. Okay. I still uh, think that the four of us should talk it out, establish perhaps an independent commission between uh, that can be verified, something along those lines in the future in the long term. Uh, maybe we can't hash that out in the time we have at the moment, uh, but if we can start sorting this out, um, we can avoid any ugly conflict of uh, exactly what the results of this massive piece of foreign technology is. Well, we can have a meeting, of course. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Meetings are good. Talking is good. Shooting is bad. <laughs> Don't try and pull that out of orbit. <laughs> Where would you propose this joint venture be held? Oh, we're having well, at the moment, um, we're not sure exactly uh, how the ship can be moved as it has no functioning engines. 
Uh, so to begin with, there'd have to be some way of transporting the ship away from the planet. Um, Why away from the planet? Well, it's, Sorry, it's, can, can, we, can we go back from the ship to all the technology that you've looted from the North Continental Company? Yes, and I believe... No, I've just spoken to the chief executive and he's not aware of any agreement regarding the disposition of that. Okay, I will have to talk to... Uh, yeah, we were on the impact. Yeah. I specifically gave more just to sort that out. Um, but essentially the plan is um, to return that technology found in the foreign base uh, to the North Continental Company. Okay, when will that take place? Over the... Uh, next five days. Yes. Um, at the moment, uh, we're kind of concerned because there were certain uh, illnesses. Aliens bursting from their chests. Caught by the people who were in the Forerunner base. So we're very concerned about the conditions. So the handover would have to be done in such a way uh, that quarantines were put in the appropriate place. That's fine. We'll have a shipman to supervise it in a week or so. Yeah, so we'll do it. There. Okay. And the ship that you've bagged in orbit? Yeah, we would like to set up a, yes. a joint sharing of that technology. We're hoping for an independent research team yeah. made up of multiple representatives of worlds mm -hmm. uh, to use this for the betterment of humanity. The thing is, we're holding the technology technically, physically, we're the guys with it. Yeah, yeah. So if we say, I can't have it, oh, they're going to hate us so much and we'll get all the blame. Oh, so that could be a, a What we said is we want an independent commission made up of research from multiple powers. Yeah, to work oh, together. Sorry. It's completely the mission objective. It's a problem for you. How is this the mission objective? The mission objective is not pissing off the other major powers, which we've done enough already. <laughs> <laughs> I've not pissed off anyone. I've got pissed. <laughs> have you seen the approach track? Like, changing we haven't technology. come away with it, though. Yeah, we, can. we have. No, we have. Firstly, we get the prestige, right? That actually yeah. means something in the wider community. Secondly, we're still like. We're the ones who did it, and we will still have researchers on there. We've improved the Mars situation, even if we've done so by improving all the other situations. And the only way to not do that thing would be to piss off other major powers, which yeah. is against our objectives. I, I disagree. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I think Mike Mark wants to hold on to the technology. To the if he wanted to, we can start leaving the system. No, we can't. We can. We literally yeah, have. But we need to remain yeah, as friendly with people. Everyone knows possible. we have this big ship. Yeah. And they'd be like, oh, they've run off with it, and we don't want to sorry. Yeah. 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 Look that up. Power that. Remember, this is a delicate political balance we're in the middle of. <laughs> One that we can win. <laughs> That's not the point. <laughs> the idea is not to win humanity, Mark. <laughs> Minutes before the game ends, an Earthship arrives and heads straight for the Martian fleet. As the last few moments played out, the game would end with the split in the team reaching critical levels. What about, what's all hail, this? Hail, hailing frequencies, yeah. uh, uh, Martian Task Force, we're here to um, take possession of the technology you've removed from the, new, from the North Continental Company. As agreed. What? Okay. Uh, R&B orders. Can, I, can, we, can we just tap John in the head at this point? Orders for that one. Uh, Diaboli Diabolito's gone into a holding pattern, blocking the exit essentially as much as you can with a single ship. Um, the Titan's on approach to Monarch. Are you going to allow them to set up docking tubes? To take the tech. Can I uh, send a thing? to the council saying Is there a way we can do this uh, on the ground in the NCC? Aggressively moving on to the... Just you, because you, then you, if you, something goes wrong there's less chance of you know terrifying what? space explosions. Earth is just going to run off with all the tech and no one else is ever going to see it again. Well, the it's it's almost as though the Earth are must have lied about marines, when they get here. A whole bunch of our <laughs> marines died to get that tech and now we're just handing it... It's out. not the same tech. Right. What's the um, no, so the monarch's got the tech from the ground, the yes. and then the other ship yeah. is still the other ship. About what? Yeah. With all yeah, the tech still on this. But a whole bunch right of marines. So we arranged this beforehand. Well. Okay. It, it, that is that is true, but it's real. Now we're just handing it well, over. Well, our troops are not going to be happy. Like a whole bunch of their mates died to get this stuff, and now they're just not many. A whole bunch of our marines died in those tunnels. That was a those giant evil alien monsters. They had. Aliens burst from their chests That's afterwards. <laughs> there was diseases. Loads of our guys died, and they're just going to stand there and watch while a bunch of Earthers that did nothing. At more fresh, we do need a decision on this. Yeah. Right. Martian task force respond. Okay, yeah, fine. We will allow um, small teams to start setting up long term things for training the tech back. Well, training the tech well, if, if you let them establish a docking tube, they'll do that. Docking tube opens. Um, Earther Marines uh, with a bunch of naval people with carrying pallets and whatnot. Right. Russians come aboard. <laughs> Right, well, we're going to have to. The soldiers on board the ship are not going to allow the tech just to be given to the Earthers. Whoa, hey. <laughs> right, so Which ship are you in, Commander? Right, it's a, it's a standoff in the docking tube. We're going to start setting up. Because, uh, the, like we said, there's complex um, quarantines and stuff that has to be set up. You're on his ship. 
I don't think my marines are on the. Yeah. Right, some of your, your marines are going to be. Admiral Frisk, have your have your GF troops stand down. We're here to collect the technology as previously no, agreed. This is our technology. As laid out, in, <laughs> as as I pointed out, there has to be a, like a procedure to make sure this is done safely because of the risk of uh, contamination. So we'll start setting that up. We'll, you know, the troops will stand back and we'll start setting that up. You've had weeks. We've got specialists here to collect it. Let us send them across and collect the tech. The yeah. point is the Marine commander on that ship. The Marine commander is always subordinate to the ship's captain. So if you order the ship's captain to arrest him, that will happen. Right. Okay. If you choose to do that, oh, you landed no. troops. Like it's an invasion of sovereignty. Your party was was in your danger colony from an alien invasion. Your colony was in danger. I'm here to talk to the organ grinder. We were forced to talk, take action because your colony was potentially in danger. Can we? Move Wait, where's the visitor, just drop the tech in NCC territory in a sealed manner, and then you can deal with whatever dangers it has by yourself. Oh, well, yeah, we'll do that process, yeah. Fine, begin shuttling it down now into NCC territory. Yes. <laughs> right, it's all sealed, and I'm telling you, you've got to be careful, but. There you go. Right. It's and that's got the tech on it? Yes. Okay. Sweet. Enjoy your death trap, ladies. The recently unearthed tech was shuttled back down to the surface. This seemed like a significant sacrifice, but unbeknownst to me, the colonies of New Sidonia had all agreed to share the technology on the planet, so sending it back to the surface meant it had to be shared amongst the colonies, and some of it would actually get back to us through the new CC, and Earth would only get a small share in the end. And that's how the game ended. New Sidonia was at peace, the new Sidonia colony had all of its land returned, and the colonists and major powers alike were starting to share Forerunner technology. Invasion from Mars 2015 was stressful and confusing, but also one of the most interesting games I've ever played. I look forward to seeing it played more in the future. Thanks for watching this story about our team's experience in Invasion from Mars. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel, and if you haven't seen my previous video on the story of Watch the Skies Cheltenham, then you can check it out here. I'd also like to give special thanks to Jim Wallman for bringing the game to Cardiff, and to everyone on the control team for making the game possible. Thanks also goes to my sister Elizabeth for being our cameraman, and to the whole MASC team for making it such a great day. Thanks again for watching.